Hi there. Today I would like to explain how to export a Groom from Houdini to Unreal and how to utilize attributes like the Groom width and color and so on. So I created a little example here in Houdini already where I imported a mesh of that Wookie or whatever I want to call it. Then I imported some guides from uh, Maya, which I did before, added a uh, skin primitive and primitive UVs, so they can be used as guides. And then I created, or I used those guides within my hair gen. I adjusted the thickness a little bit here and the density. That's basically all I did. And then in my hair generator, so when we start from scratch, I added some clumping then I create a color based on the clump ID. So random from attribute, just use the clump ID attribute, which gets created through the hair clump. So we get something like this. Then um, I add some second le level of clumping. So let me show you, like it just adds a little bit more clumping. Then I resample my strands. So I get some more detail into the hair and Let's use all of that. So never mind what I have here. Delete. So we want to start from here. Once I'm happy with everything, I delete all my attributes. So delete non-selected. And since we want to have like a clean Alembic without any additional data, so once I have that, I connect it to my output, which is just a ROP Alembic. And I override my Wookie fur here. You can use the default options. So let's override this render. All right, uh, within Unreal, like in the Epic Un Launcher, just start Unreal, create a new project. I already did that, so I'm gonna load that project here. And once it is loaded, you have to enable two plugins. So I will show you where to find it. Once you enable those, you have to restart um, uh, Unreal. It's gonna prompt you to restart, so you do that. And once you restarted it, you're gonna have those two plugins available. Um, yeah, just restore all of that stuff here. Let me delete that because, oops, let me delete all the stuff here since we want to start from scratch. Yes, force delete. So let's assume you got a clean project now. Um, go to edit plugins and geometry and enable like uh, the Alembic Room importer and Groom for rendering and simulation of Grooms. So once you did that, it's gonna prompt for a restart. And once you restarted it, you can import Alembics. That works by, by drag and drop, or you can say import and, and import it from there. So first I want to add the geometry. So when I drag and drop it, we get this pop-up here with the import options. You can leave it at the default options here. For the import type, if you have like animated Alembic, you can use geometry cache but I haven't checked it out how it connects to the, to the hair then. So just use the default options. And here's the fur we just stored, which is only two megabyte. So we also throw this one in here and this will also open an importer. Um, be aware by default, those build settings here will have a value of 0 0.1 for hair to guide density. This is for simulation. Since we don't want to simulate, simulate anything, put it to zero. And even if you want to do simulation later on, don't put it to 0 0.1, which is like 10%. So every 10th hair gets a guide for simulation, put it to like something lower, 0 0.01 or so on. All right. So here we go, we have those two objects. We can just drag and drop it to the viewport and then zero out those locations here. 
now we have to do some rotation work. So for geometry, we need to rotate it 90 degree here. For the fur, it is minus 90 and yeah, this one, 180 here, right? So, oh, come on, here we go. Oh, I want to make this bigger. Here we go. So what we can see right now is not too much since we have too many hairs. So what I want to do is I would like to reduce the amount so we can actually focus on some, on some details. So let's go to our hair chain here, put it to 50 and render this again or output the Alembic again. And then on the fur, you can just right click and say re-import, hit import and it's importing again. So when we compare the hair width here with the hair width, width in Houdini, we can see that it doesn't fit together. It's like different, right? Since we have like thin tips here and thick roots. So the next thing is we want to add the hair width to the export. And this end, we also want to add that nice color which we had here to our export. So let's delete this attribute delete here and this connection and see what else I added to this graph. First of all, I promoted my color to vertex. Why I did that? Let's open a browser and that's documentation from Unreal Engine for the Alembic Groom specification. So when we go up here, it's going to tell you that every attribute needs a prefix called groom underline and then the attribute. So like groom ID, groom color, groom width. Those two here are interesting for us, groom color and groom width. So when we go to the specification of the attributes, groom color, it tells us it should be a vertex attribute and it should be a vector um, based on a float 32 or 64. For the width, we don't find anything special here. So we just use the width from Houdini and call it groom width. All right, but for the color now, I um, make the color a vertex attribute now, like I promote it from primitive to vertex. And once I did that, I create a new attribute called groom underline color. And that is a vertex attribute with a type vector and a precision of 32 bit. And then for the value, I read the RGB value from our color and use that as value for our new color attribute. So when I go to the German spreadsheet, we have now the original color attribute, which is just an RGB. And here we got a vector with X, Y, Z with uh, the same values. All right. And for our, let me check here. So our width, we also need to get it into a new attribute called groom width, but we're gonna do that later. So here in our attribute delete, I delete all non-selected. So only the width and the groom color stay on on our uh, curves or here. And then on the end, what I do is I promote the width attribute onto the vertex class with a new name called groom width. So we have exactly what the specification is, like groom underline and then color and width. And once we have that, we connect it again to our Rob Alembic, render it or like ex export it. And here we re-import now we should get basically the same hair width we had in, in Houdini. But we have to change default values here. Like um, 
that's like a multiplier. When you select your fur and go to the groom component, you have like the hair width, hair root scale and hair tip scale. And that's basically a multiplier. But what we can already see is that our hair gets smaller on the tips and big on the roots. Since we are so, since this object is so small, let's scale this up by a factor of 10. Go to this one. All right, so we scaled it up. Now I need to change the multiplier for our, oh, it's here, groom component for our width to a value of one, so it fits again. Now we can see we have the same thickness here as we have in Houdini. Need to go to here. So we have like the same thickness and the same colors. Everything applied. Um, but the colors, since you, it might not show up in your scene, what you have to do is select your fur, go to the material, double click it. And when you're in your material editor, um, get an hair attribute node. So just tap it or like right click, type in here. Then you got hair attributes and connect the base color to your hair base color. And then um, hit apply or just close it and hit save. I don't need to do that now. And I can actually set the quality higher so we get less flickering. And here we go. That's how you import hair from Houdini to Unreal.